Hello, D traders. Market sentiment improved notably in the Asia Pacific session today. Investors regained risk on mood, so the US dollar began a correctional decline. The ongoing bounce in markets is a logical development because stock indexes were oversold in the recent sessions. Nevertheless, the market could incur losses soon because the geopolitical crisis is not settled yet. Japan's Nikkei is still faint at lows after the recent slump. The same is true about the national currency, the Japanese yen. The US dollar index came under pressure in the Asian session. The index climbed above the level of 99 points, the highest mark in the last two years. Later, buyers of the US currency retreated to 98.85, where analysts found the first support. A downward correction comes as a result of the overbought US dollar, though we cannot rule out a further decline. The overall outlook for the greenback is bullish, so its index could test fresh highs. The next resistance is seen at 99.97. That will be followed by the psychological level of 100 points. Appetite for risk emerged among investors after the London Metal Exchange suspended trading nickel, whose price had doubled. Other metals were trading lower, thus easing inflationary pressure, and such developments propped up Asia-Pacific markets because many countries in the region are net commodity and energy importers. Poor in resources, Japan is going through a challenge. A predicted slowdown in the global economy could deal a blow to Japan's economy. Today, Japan reported on its economic growth for the first quarter of 2021. Its GDP skidded to 1.1% from a quarter ago. The actual reading is worse than expected as the consensus suggested an increase to 1.4%. Now let's discuss uh, market sentiment on the Japanese yen. In the early Asian trade, the Japanese currency remained under pressure. The dollar yen pair climbed above 115.80 from the closing price of 115.6 yesterday. Importantly, the US dollar managed to break resistance at 115.80 that has been in place since mid-February. Consolidation above this level and a breakout upwards could have opened the door to the level of 116.00 and higher. In practice, it did not happen. The yen were making efforts to gain ground. In case of a further correction, the dollar-yen pair might reach support at 115.30, move lower to 114.85 and deeper to the lower border of the range at 114.50. The Australian dollar perked up after a pause in the early Asia trade. Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison declared a national emergency over severe flooding in the New South Wales. The policymaker made a statement in allocating financial aid to mitigate the aftermath from the disaster and clear up the debris. The RDS depot was unaffected by the news, trading firmly above 0.70 to 80. A speech by the Reserve Bank of Australia's governor could make an impact on the currency pair. A consumer sentiment index is also on investors' radars. Analysts do not expect sharp price swings for the RTS pair. The most feasible scenario is a trading range between 0.7170 and 0.7370. The pair will hardly settle below 0.70 to 30. Only a breakout above 0.7320 will indicate that the downward pressure eases. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable trading. Don't miss our next video on InstaForex TV channel. See you!